Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at nested lists. Now, nested lists aren't that difficult. The most difficult part is accessing the data within the list. Um, basically, we need to use indexing, but figuring out where you are in the list and how you're going to index it, that's what gets complicated. And it's it's not it's not complicated in the sense that it's a complicated procedure. It's just complicated because you got to remember where the heck you are. So you see a list here and this is a nested list. All right. We got a list here and then we got a list inside that list. Um, how about over here? We got a list and then another list inside that list. So this is uh, about three lists down. So we got many of lists. And if you guys want to copy this list, I included our um, website link in the, um, description below uh, please go over there and copy the link uh, copy this so you, so you don't have to type this all out because it would be confusing if you didn't get it right so basically what we're going to do is take a look at a couple examples here how we're going to get the objects out of the list and also how we would slice this all right so basically first thing I want to do is get car right here this is a simple one so we're going to do a square bracket zero square brackets hit return we got car right um, so how about the next one Let's go ahead and just bring up A again so we don't get lost and we know what we're looking at here. Uh, say we want to get Kia. We want to get Kia right here. Well, let's go ahead and do A, square brackets, 1. All right, so we're going A, and then we're going to the second object within that list, or the one index position, and that's this list. And then inside that list, we're going to the second object in that list, or the one index position, and that's Kia. So we'll do another square bracket and one, hit return, and we got Kia. All right, I'm going to clear my screen. I'm going to bring up uh, that list again. There we go. And let's go ahead and try to get um, Ford all the way down here. All right, so let's figure out what this is first off. All right, so we got a list here. Um, then we got a list here, but it's not in that list. All right, cool. Uh, this is in the first list we looked at here. Uh, this is another list and then Ford's in another list in that list. So we're about like three lists down here. So we got to get that. So let's get, let's figure this all out here. Let's first do A and figure out where we have to go. All right. So we're going to do zero index, one index, two index, three index. All right. So we need to go to the third index to get this list. So we're going to do three square brackets. All right, so now we're in this list. Now how are we going to get this list? All right, so we're going to go zero index, one index, two index. All right, that's how we get this list. So we're going to get into another square bracket and the two index. Now we're going to get forward inside there. So how are we going to get that? Well, it's a zero index. So we're just going to go ahead and put square brackets, whoa, square bracket, zero, square bracket. Hit return. There we go. That's how we get forward. Um, uh, what is I going to say next? Uh, let's go ahead and let's just slice something. Let's give that a shot. Let's uh, get pickup and monster truck. All right. So let's go ahead and do a square brackets. Um, well, let's get pickup and monster truck, right? Is that what I said? All right. Well, we'll get pickup and monster truck. I don't remember what I said. Uh, so we need to do zero, one, two, three to get here. So three square bracket. And then we're going to go ahead and slice the first two. So we'll do another square bracket and we'll do a colon two square bracket, hit return, and we get pickup and monster truck. So that's how we would slice it. If you guys have any questions about nested list in Python, please let me know. Otherwise, please leave a comment below. Let us know how we're doing and we'll see you in the next tutorial.